Well, <clears throat> good afternoon. <laughs> As you see, I'm cleaning up uh, this Facebook page of mine. And, uh, you know, it don't bother me a bit. If ain't nothing left on here but my family and somebody true. Now, I told you. I told you it was in it was in the forecast. You know, I I I I, I even put some uh, memes up there. If you ain't fucking, then go on and get your ass on out of here. <laughs> Quite naturally, it ain't that serious. But then again, it is that serious because. You're not going to sit on this goddamn thing and I can't holler at you. You ain't got no fucking time. If you ain't got time, then you ain't have time to be on here. Because I know my people I got on here is live. They real. You did. So don't try to play me like a lame because I'll get rid of your ass and block the fuck out of you like I did some of them other ones. You're not gonna act like you. You're not gonna. You're not gonna play me for no goddamn fool. You know who the fuck I am. We didn't have no fucking problems. Then all of a sudden I put you on this goddamn page. All of a sudden you're running. Ain't got no problems. There ain't nobody gonna expose you to no bunch of we fucked last year or some bullshit like that. Person really just trying to talk to you or talk with you and keep it a goddamn stack or do like. I did one other woman. I did that woman that way and put her all on my shit. Now you see how I feel to be all over my shit. So that just tell me you was gonna do that goddamn shit anyway. If it was a real motherfucking, it's a mock. You've been knowing me for a long goddamn time, and then you know, you 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 when I finally started talking to you after I put you on here. You act like, damn, you was thirsty as fuck to suck my fucking dick. All right. Okay, you, you, you keeping it real like that. All right. And, it's, and the ball is in my corner is, is if I want it, right? It belongs to me, right? Okay, so here we go. Put you all over my shit like, oh. Uh, you, you, you the female bear up in this goddamn man cave, right? Then all of a sudden you flipped out, talking about you was a single woman and you've been taking care of yourself, independent, all this goddamn shit. Okay. Well, it drawed all that bullshit out. Now, you can go on about your business because it turned out the same way it was years the fuck ago, right? But twixt her and I. So, we ain't gonna sweat the little shit. Go on, go on about your business now. Oh, my God, I'm so embargo. But when you get done, what that motherfucker say on there? When you read, I'm single man, right? Now, just imagine I did change that over. Oh, that's my wife, my woman. I'll be even extra, right? Well, the point got across. You ain't interested. You ain't gonna talk too much. Once you talk to a person face to face, like right now, on this damn timeline, who's to say your ass gone about your goddamn business? I wanna know is you real or is it some bullshit? You dig what I'm saying? Don't give me that shit. The phone don't work because y'all get active and be doing all kind of shit on here. And I want only real numbers. I could be stuck, I could be anything. And I need somebody that I can fucking count on. When I call it, that's what the fuck this is for. Y'all make somebody so goddamn mad they want to just ball up their fists even if you if it was a female and bust you in your shit. Hear me, motherfucker. Get your fucking mind out of the goddamn gutter. Your fucking mind, your brain, and all that bullshit and want to include me in it like you in the goddamn trash can. I ain't in the fucking trash can. Bitch. I'm out here live and direct. Do you understand? 
Shit. Motherfucker, get tired of that fake shit. Don't come up on here with that includes family. Goddamn it, I want real goddamn number. When I fucking call you, let me know something. You know what I mean? Otherwise, then I don't fucking need you on here. I am not fucked up about nothing. About no goddamn relationship. You know? And then y'all talk about your single and shit. Knowing you got some goddamn nigga. Y'all females got a thousand goddamn niggas chasing and traipsing and behind you. All you want is another motherfucker to say, oh, that's my nigga over there. That's the one. You know, he's the real one. And then you come back to me talking to me like, like ain't nothing. What do you do? You know what I mean? Oh, girl. You know you're getting that off because you're on this thing. I, I slap the shit out of you. But the way I slap the shit out of you is you be up trying to talk to this motherfucker, gabbing away or whatever the fuck it is you're doing. And you look around and your motherfucking ass is deleted the fuck out of here that means you can't see none of my goddamn people like I got on there you can't see none of my shit unless you didn't wrote a whole goddamn list and you uh, communicate with them on your goddamn own you understand me you ain't gonna be on here and I mean I ain't fucked up if you seen some other gentleman on here and y'all happen to wanna fuck but where does we was friends first? You can't talk to a nigga. You can't handle your goddamn business no better than that. See, that's the goddamn problem. In any case, in Lord, Lord, Lord form, damn it! If I can't call on this motherfucker, then I'm getting ready to get goddamn ass. I need, I might need somebody one goddamn day. You know, could be the simplest thing. I mean, you're down right there. Oh. Around the corner for you. What you doing? Man, look, man. My tire flat, man. Can you, can you, can you run me some motherfucking tire, sill, uh, sill flat or something? Motherfucker can't even do that. So, if you fucking around with, with, with some of them other goddamn people uh, that's got sidewinder ass fucking ways and we don't get along, they ain't no in no motherfucking way. Then take your tippy toe happy motherfucking ass on with them fake ass boozy motherfuckers. I ain't fucked up about you. But I do get fucked up about is that you want to come in my shit and then you want to cause a whole bunch of goddamn bullshit. Because I even have to get this straight with family. Don't fucking play with me. The females that's on this motherfucker is my cousins, right? Most of them. And when you fucking get done, I ain't getting rid of them. And bitch ass nigga, if you get jealous, I'm gonna tell you one goddamn more time. I'm gonna tell you the same thing she done told you. You that goddamn jealous, then go find you another bitch. You on fucking pins and needles. You know, cause the goddamn nigga will throw you the fuck at and throw you the fuck out. You know. Goddamn nigga throw you the fuck the fuck out of his goddamn house because that's the way most niggas is these days. They go buy a fucking old dollar ass fucking house. Right? It don't cost but uh, you in Omaha, right? Your goddamn house don't cost no more than a fucking dollar. You get your funky ass in the motherfucker. Right? That way you don't have to be living in her shit. You get tired of motherfucking conversation, then you then you you can invite the person to the door out. Now, when it's the other way around, right? Damn it, it ain't no fun when the goddamn rabbit's the one got the gun, right? Shit, don't start fucking with me, cause y'all bring your head out of your out of your out of your drops for a minute. I'll let you know if I want some of that smelly shit. <laughs> God damn it! And don't nobody fucking else want it, but y'all want to barter uh, somebody over there trying to talk to you with some sense for some nigga don't even want you. God damn it! You got two or three of them other old bitches. When he doing good, right? Nobody wants the goddamn 
Nobody wants the responsibility. Don't, nobody wants the motherfucking responsibility. Just keep it a fucking stack. Yeah. Make this motherfucking live and all over the goddamn place so I don't have to keep talking about it. I'm just as real as the next motherfucker. I'm just as on, on point as everybody, anybody else can be out here on this motherfucker. Just because I'm I'm talking, this is the way grown-ups talk, right? In your ass, on your ass, on top of your ass into a women with titties and fur ball. And I don't, ain't no, look, ain't no boy pussy going on him. I don't do it. Why? If I'm going to dig in some doodle hole, goddamn it, I want that other motherfucking hole right there Look at that other, that piss hole too. Come with it. Some throat. I want, I want the whole shit. I'm on a pie hole, motherfucker. The fuck? I got a big, fat, raggedy, black dick in my soul. What the fuck I'm going to do with another one? So, don't make me have to talk crazy to you faggots. And you little funky lesbian bitch. Crack that ass open. You're going to get some real dick tonight. <laughs> I'm telling you the truth what God love. You understand me? God damn it. The wolf is off the chain, and he ain't going back on that motherfucker. You understand me? You understand shit I'm on? <laughs> I'm getting rid of your ass, but I can't fuck. Then goddamn it, get off. If you was a cousin, okay, you can stay. <laughs> you female cousin or family, okay, you can stay. But if you is just a bitch, you gon' you gon' you dog, nah, we're gonna talk in your draws the whole nine. You gonna do a damn thing. We'll talk about it. Ah, uh, don't get up on here, meet one of the 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 the, the, the jack legs on this motherfucker all of a sudden you hear his woman. Oh yeah, that's it. <laughs> oh yeah, that bullshit y'all fell in love. Just give him some loving. Bwah. Give her the, drop off with some nuts in her mouth, my nigga. Shit, go brush your teeth, goggle your throat, wash your ass. Uncle Pie Hole. Shit, I'm Uncle Pie Hole. Shit, I love me some pie, so don't get it fucked up. Shit, no, but I have to put that editorial out there. I'm just telling you, I'm just real, yeah. I'll tell you when the fuck I want to slice a motherfucking pie. <laughs> Did I say I want to slice a fucking pie right now? <laughs> you know, the Cadillac down. Cadillac need four tires. You need. You need all kinds of business. The, 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 the interior is jacked up. The lack is jacked up. So that motherfucker need fixing. Okay. Uh, I see Joyce. Joyce M. Mo Arthur. She was on here a few minutes ago. Uh, she asked me what I was complaining about. I'm dropping, I'm dropping jewels right now, baby. I'm telling motherfuckers how the fuck, what a T.I. motherfucking is. Don't get on here playing with me. Don't get on here playing with me. You understand? Don't get on here playing with me, damn it. Because as you can see, I'm getting rid of everybody on this goddamn thing. That you ain't going to keep it a fucking stack. You ain't going to holler at a nigga. You ain't got time. All of a sudden, if a nigga does call, all of a sudden a nigga, oh, I'm so horny, I'm so horny. What is you fucking worried about, nigga? <laughs> Shit. The fuck is you so goddamn worried about some goddamn ass fuck? Boy, she gonna let you jack off like you been doing all the time any goddamn way. 
She wouldn't be on this motherfucker if I was that something wrong. I don't, I don't get that one. A lot of them, I do get that. I understand what they're trying to get on my fucking clout, some of them. But I just done got rid of their ass, man. Take your problems, take your ass, and, and go on back to that broke back, broke back mountain ass fucking nigga. Go on. I don't want the fucking problems. I went, listen. When I go to the whole house and I put $50 on some neck, $50 on some back, and $50 on some front, and I throw the goddamn money down on the goddamn bed, don't bullshit me now. Because I ain't coming, how somebody gonna try to control me? Because, man, at the whole house, at the whole house. <laughs> Why? Wow. That's right. I can handle my square, but I am in the bottom of my pussy. You did, old ass man. I'm talking some real talk. I want only real motherfuckers on this goddamn page. And don't be playing me, cause I'm telling you, I don't told somebody it was a surprise when they heard the words come out of my motherfucking mouth. That when I get tired of fucking around, I get tired of playing now, cause I it, all everything come ain't, ain't no goddamn joke. I'm just trying to keep humor. I'm just trying to keep it a fucking stack with you now. Now, I don't give a damn if you're a female. Now, I, I'm telling you to, to get your ass and go on. Because what, what the fuck you saying and you mean the fuck you doing? This is real disrespectful when you don't give a fuck. Ain't nobody got time for that shit. But ain't nobody, you're not a psychiatrist. So, therefore, I haven't gone to one, you know, to your knowledge. It ain't none of your business. But I know where that motherfucker at if I, if I lose it. And I need somebody to fucking talk to. You understand me? So in saying that, I said that to say this. Ain't nobody going to open up no whole bunch of hoop. You better come your ass on and talk the goddamn language that we that people talk. When you, when you, when you meet them or whatever else. I don't want to hear some side. Don't come to me with some second fucking smoke ass shit and you ain't never set your ass down to really talk to a motherfucker nah never and i'm getting rid of motherfuckers that that'll sit there and shit on you like you don't got no fucking backbone and knowing damn well when they approach me is 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 a is a whole lot different you know ever seen a motherfucker for way off he looked like a little bitty motherfucker but the closer you get to him you was, when you all, oh, you was going to beat that ass all the way up to him. And then the motherfucker, all of a sudden, he way bigger than you thought. And you swerved the fuck on off somewhere else when you meant to. No, you was going to stomp your ass over there and kick that motherfucker ass. Well, I'm one of them. You're going to do a whole lot of shit to me when you get older. And then you all of a sudden, you swerved the fuck on. Well, yeah, that's right. Swear and stay your ass in your goddamn lane, a bitch. You're not gonna go through me. You're gonna take your ass around me. That's the fuck you gonna do. Shit. Understand me when I tell you this shit, man. Don't, don't keep trying trying me. And I don't want no fake ass people. That's crazy. That you gotta just go to your family. And I'm gonna tell family. Some of them goddamn folk, I you know how to go. They don't get along with this one, but they get y'all get along so goddamn good. Why don't you check and see why you do? And, and yeah, you don't agree on every goddamn thing, now do you? All right, then. fuck you do. And you'll see a whole lot, then you open your goddamn eyeballs to a whole lot of bullshit. Because me personally, I never let nobody sit there and shit all over my folk and we best friends too. I don't think so. Motherfucker, you got to get your ass gone, boy. Get some motherfucking, get some, boy, kick rocks. You understand me? You know, I'm going to tell this one this and then you're going to tell the other one some other and then you don't get along with it. Please, motherfucker. Anybody in any can come up with some motherfucker really? Really?
Nobody got to open up no goddamn file to you. If you can't handle this basic ass fucking everyday association, then ain't nobody making you stick around. Like, oh, I ain't never thought of you. I got so many people. I don't, yeah, whatever. I don't want to hear that goddamn shit. Because when I make a goddamn call, you done forgot. Look on your friends list. You don't fuck with me, then take your ass. Don't make me have to call you the fuck out. You know what I mean? You don't know goddamn friends need to talk no shit. Well, oh, I'm in a relationship now. You wasn't in that shit when you got on here, was you? And it didn't really matter if you was or you wasn't. How do you know I'm calling for that? But I mean, you know, I gotta be me. I'm on my own when I look at a woman. Yeah, I'm gonna get you first. Yeah. Gotta look you up and down, shit, and smell you and see if you stink or whatever. Shit, you look good, but you might then wipe your funky ass today. Yeah, go and buy that fucking hair <laughs> and glue that shit to your fucking uh, head, shit. Then throw you some powder on and some eyelashes and shit. Look like you was you be in the bedroom all the time. Like you, uh, all that old bullshit. Don't get me mad. Oh yeah, cause by the way, don't forget the woman I put on there again. I probably got her husband so goddamn mad. This motherfucker, man, what wrong? Damn, boy, don't you never come to Atlanta, nigga. <laughs> boy, boy, she, she could, the only thing I can tell you is she, she could get him. <laughs> she, she could get your dog, grip, get your dog. <laughs> I'm just trying to help you out. <clears throat> Why? I'm going to tell you again. The woman, is, the woman is a winner, right? And I put together uh, uh, some stuff from her own little thing. It wasn't, it wasn't a whole lot. It wasn't that much. <laughs> it's a video with her and her family. I put it, to, put it, her stuff together with some of the music and stuff came from her own um, audio. Some of her stuff, and then sent it back to. Her. <clears throat> Letting them know I wasn't just some fucking pervert. Uh, some, for, you know, somebody that, you know what I mean, he do catch on. Next thing you know, you didn't, you think that's your stuff. You know, I was giving the woman respect. She sell hair and hair products and all this stuff. Now, when I first started out with seeing this woman, she was on uh, uh, YouTube. She was on YouTube and <clears throat> she was going through a heavy depression. You couldn't tell at first, but then it was something about this woman. And then she finally, you know, it finally came through. She started talking about a medical situation. Then she went, uh, uh, you know, a, a female health issue. And I got to listen to her more and more. Then um, she got to her hair and different stuff. And oh, my edges and different. So she she had to, and she regrew her own little edges and all this kind of stuff. She had a, some buildings all over the diff, all over the place. I think it was one big old thing way over in California, some damn where. <clears throat> yeah. So and but she was. You know, like you say, Forbes list type of thing. And she said she started out from nothing like uh, just, you know, ghetto. Just, you know, in the ghetto, living in the ghetto, and she made it. Uh, and didn't go to school and college and all that. She just sharing what happened. You know, uh, if you want to say it's a statistic, she wasn't trying to be a statistic. She was trying to live, right? And she don't really do this uh, 
you know, a statistic is the one to turn around and tell you you ain't hard trying hard enough. And if she, he or she makes it, oh, you can do it too. She give you motivation because the person, if you're serious, she try to got a little program to try to help you, right? go by the numbers and, and, and go by this formula and that formula which already sitting on the table. It just slow your ass down, sit down and try to learn how to do it, right? That's that's basically all it is. So uh, I you know, I just you know, I put on the, the notification bell and it comes up all the time. So I listen to her, I listen to her and then it was motivation, and it was mostly motivation through or for females. So I had a bunch of females, uh, my nieces and my cousins and all that stuff on here. So I said, you know what, <clears throat> maybe they can use some of the stuff and, you know, it's, you know, female shit. And then today, you know, the, the, the hustle is was hair and all this woman product stuff. That shit seemed to work. So if, you know, and it's just like anything, like even if you go to a seminar, hell, she gives you, brings you, gives you most of this stuff, but here's a little fee. Now, if need be, you put any damn price you want on it, but you know that it belongs to her, period. Got her all over it. But once you buy the bulk of shit, you know, wholesale, you do what the fuck you want with it. You know what I mean? You gave her her money. She gave it to you. The rest of that you don't even want to fucking hear. Unless it's some kind of way you trying to make her pro her her product yours. And you trying to say it belongs to you. And that's the, the deal she had a problem with. The turn, uh, 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 other... Uh, 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 how would you say merchants or, or, or somebody come there and was offering her uh, uh, money for her business, and she like, no, that's too much. Like, you know, trying to trying to buy the rights and shit from her, give her this and give her that. You know, she want to buy her brand, and she's no, no, this wasn't made. Me. You know what I'm saying? That this is what made me. This is what. It's my livelihood, and it's mine, and I don't have to share a damn thing with nobody. You know, I don't want to turn around and, and create my own business and then be a, 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 an employee of my own shit because you got to come to me to get it. Then you want me to sell you my patents, and you want me to sell you this, my brand and everything. And then here I got these little funky couple of dollars, and if, unless I do something with it, it's it's steady going it's steady going somewhere else. So the person got uh, in your in your face uh, experiences and taking you down through there and showing you the the pros and cons about business and all of that shit. And it, she happens to be the female, so I just kept on listening to her and him. After a while, it's like I said, fuck it. That's the one I. I chose to like you put your your money on uh, uh, one of the thoroughbreds in a in a in a race, and it don't make no difference what race they in. Don't make no difference when they race. You still gonna put them couple of dollars on that that horse or that dog, right? Or that that uh, thoroughbred or that pedigree, you know. You know, the doctor dog track. I'm not calling her a dog. Don't get it wrong. Don't say I, I'm, I'm calling her a horse or a cow or nothing like that. I'm just using that as a metaphor. That's the one I work with. That's the one, no matter what, I will put a dollar on the person, <laughs> you know, on a $1 wheel to come in on trifecta or whatever. Come in first or, 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 or be in there. So there you go. Or a parlay or anything. You understand me? The person is winning. Now, the person, again, I watched this person 
within the last three or four years uh, do what she do and I put her on my thing sometime and let her go on. there's a lot of stuff I seen that I you know th that's just small any any y'all public access can see it but if you really paying attention to the person be some bullshit man you know be some real bullshit and that's how it is when it comes to business so that's where I'm at you know what I mean I want I'm dealing with real I want I'm I'm trying to associate with real people that you can actually talk to actually associate with and handle some damn business if, if need be or get involved with something that's positive and productive you know don't make me have to turn into Mr. Organic on your fucking ass pure proper and <laughs> you understand me and productive shit pure prosperous and productive what the what the fuck else do you need to know you dig? Plant the seed and let it grow, damn it. Shit. What the fuck you talking about? So that's what I'm doing. I'm getting rid of all them damn people. Just like they don't have a... They may or they may not have a clue. And some of the people that's uh, fruits and vegetables. Oh, I got to connect to fruits and vegetables wherever you want. Problem is, is getting that produce to you. If you live somewhere else, now I got to figure out how to package that stuff, man. And get it to that person without it being no good. Shit, motherfucker, don't, don't, don't sell me short. That's what I'm fucking trying to tell you. You know, motherfucker got access to different things right there in his fucking hand, but it's why waste it with somebody that's half-assed the shit to go to their ear and bounce the hell off their rubber-ass fucking head shit. Fuck, I'm tired of fucking dealing with ignorant ass people that ain't even trying to hear you. And I'm just listening because, hell, I could buy this shit from you. But then what can I do with it? I just got, if I don't try to use it myself, you end up throwing it away. However, I got people that consume this shit. Then there you go. Tell you, motherfucker, the man been the man. I've been a hustler all my motherfucking life, man. Now, I don't gotta sit up and explain a fucking thing to nobody. So that's where I'm telling you, you keep it a goddamn step. And as far as these old goddamn women that's up on this bit, and you as not my cousin or something, yeah, chances are I might ask for some ass, bitch. <laughs> what man? Ain't, what man don't? Ask a woman sooner or later, what, 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 you, what, what you gonna do with that piece of ass, that piece of pie, just the, the, the regular motherfucker, man. <laughs> Shit, come on now. Because that way, keep your fucking mind cal uh, calibrated. It, this is a man over here. This ain't no fucking bitch. Another fucking woman. It's a grown ass man. And he might fuck around and ask you for a piece of ass. I'm <laughs> That's an abomination, man. Eh? Oh, really? What about the nigga talking in the background? But well, then what you do is get your little shit and get it the fuck out of here. And don't don't be sitting on this bitch trying to enjoy my shit because this is long coming. Yeah. Damn it! Don't I, I I I'd imagine they could appreciate it too, you know. Every time you turn around, all this shit come up and, and, and my shit can't get out. Time you look around, this one's a motherfucking uh, uh, poster, some shit they putting out. And that one's posters. Well, fuck it, who's seeing my shit? Right? I can sell the hell out of it, you know what I mean? So, there you go. You want sweet potatoes? You want real sweet potatoes, not no fucking yam? See this one come out. Man, I'm gonna get off here with that rent. That's all I really just wanna say. That I'm cultivating my shit. Now the day ones, I ain't getting rid of family in day ones. Day ones is the kids and stuff that grew up around me all and lived on the same block and shit. 
Yeah, they sticking around. They ain't going no goddamn where. And I may not say nothing. They, we might not say nothing, but hell, the fuck. Every once in a while, I might throw a little message on here, and they get a, they get back to me. Not no look at it, nah. Yeah, you look at it, nah. After a while, I'm gonna check and see what's happening. Fuck going on. And if your ass don't respond to it, man, then I'm knowing you ain't fucking interested. Then you can go. I give you a goddamn boot. Since you won't leave, that's just like Becky's motherfucking ass. How come you don't block me? Cause I ain't on no goddamn guilt, guilt trip. Why if you don't want to be, then why don't you block me then? And you, 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 you cut yourself out. Oh, you did it to yourself. I ain't nobody want to give you nut bag, nut sack, or some bullshit. Or whatever, man. I'm done fucking around with you. Block and, and block your ass all together. You don't need to be looking at me, shit. I'm out of your world. You see what I'm talking about? So all you motherfuckers, a whole bunch of them block the fuck out. Look, you, you know what? I got to worry about me. You know, I leave access to one. I don't know. That person, matter of fact, is that thing right there. That's little, 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 this little baby right here. I've been waiting for a long time for her to walk past me. I don't even, I haven't seen her in so long as she walked past me and then turned around and said, old ass nigga, you, you, you stepped on my shoe. And I turned around, I stepped on your shoe. I, oh, I apologize, whoop dee whoop dee whoop, and then fuck around and look at her and say, damn, you look familiar. What's your name is, shorty? You know all that, yeah. Oh, nigga, you stepped on my shoe. You gotta watch your step, nigga. And I always kept a fat ass knot. The, the case I run to. Oh well, I promise you, I here take that. Whatever, whatever that help, that help y'all. I mean, I kind of startled the person. He's like, who is this motherfucker old nigga, man? I don't know this motherfucker. Who is this motherfucking nigga, man? Yeah. I'm friendly fire. I ain't gonna hurt you at all. So, see, block my whole shit. I can't even check in. See, see my... This shit, all this shit might be dead to her because when I got uh, when I got on here, this shit was old too, motherfucker. I already like YouTube and Facebook. I started fucking with this shit back in I don't know, was it 2015, maybe 16, something like that. 13, 14, 15, something like that. Finally got settled enough to go ahead and get this thing because I had old flip phones and I I'm telling you <laughs> I had one through uh what's the name of it? Uh, 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 uh I got the damn agreement I got the damn phone from uh uh, uh Radio Shack Sprint and you know phone that particular phone man was your lifeline you just really had to have this phone i had to have this phone <clears throat> for a long distance and everything else that no matter where you went it was never going to be interrupted you wouldn't go behind the step behind the tree or go too far out of the area and the phone just cut off no but you know uh and then it, 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 it had a deal like this that from 6 o'clock in the morning to 6 in the afternoon is, is uh, business hours. So it took these many minutes off of. After that to 6 in the morning, from 6 in the evening to 6 in the morning was absolutely, didn't take any minutes off of. And the weekend starting on Friday at six 
uh, in the evening. You had all the way till six in the morning, Monday morning. So you had the end of Friday, all day Saturday and Sunday, and you know the minutes start ticking down. So uh, I pay about fifty bucks a month, fifty something dollars a month. And that's how many minutes that you had. <clears throat> that's wow. Yeah, uh, was well, five hundred and something minutes is what it was. Five hundred, six hundred minutes or whatever on that damn thing. So, and I just kept my business straight, you know, like that, you know, business squared away. But it was always there in my pocket and always paid for you know and then you think about it after so much time man <laughs> shit give me that lump sum you know what I'm saying give that back to me lump sum shit I tell you but I kept seeing these uh, little, these uh, uh, Galaxy, these Androids and all that shit. But the problem was I didn't want nothing fancy. When you work, you have something all damn fancy, right? And then you fuck around and it, it might be good for something, but hell, you lay it down, you might go somewhere and fucking forget all about it. If somebody finds this, damn, it's gone, you know what I mean? <laughs> You you done forgot walked away and left it or something or or you're doing some you know the kind of work you do you know blue collar work or whatever you fuck around and you drop it bust the damn thing all up you gotta try to go buy another one. when you got when you when you, when you when you see when you when you got a little bread in your pocket it these these things is minute they become small but when you start thinking about it. You know, you quit being so damn wasteful, you know, when you don't have it, you don't got it. it and you look back and say, damn, if you putting that money over here, over here. But then again, what would you do with it? Again, it would just be gone. I guess, hell, you not, ain't got nothing coming in. You know, and things ain't lucrative. So there you go. But it would be nice any damn way if you could get a refund. You don't got that money. But anyway, that's where it's at. I done got rid of some of them because I don't fucking know. And I, I really, I don't even care no more. Man. I'm dwindling this thing down to people that uh, we do communicate. They say, oh, happy birthday. Oh, here's a like here. Oh, what's going on? Oh, they ain't done. You know what I'm saying? But not no, no dead zone. You call a person, they be on here chatting or whatever they talking to whoever you can but they say they're active you go to try to talk to them for a minute man they might be uh pick up the phone and hang it up click oh yeah well here let me help your motherfucking ass get the fuck out of here you see me in person i'm gonna have that same guy that same motherfucking energy yeah what yeah i'll try to talk to you when i had when i when i had uh time to talk to you now I don't give a damn about talking to you. You ain't motherfucking way. Step aside. You got no time to fucking talk to you. See, y'all don't want me. You know what I mean? I, ain't no threats and no, all that bullshit. I'm just telling you like it is. That's my real character. You know what I mean? That's me. Because I really don't fucking bother people. And when I come around, the people that, that you see me, that, 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 that allow me around them, they happy to see me coming. Why? Because they know I ain't finna stop and ask no goddamn can I stay with you. And I ain't really ask for nothing. I just, in, in general, come talk to you and then go on about my goddamn business. You never hear nobody, oh, so-and-so said that he said, you said, I ain't with it. You talking to me, you just talk with me and then we go on about our business, whatever. was That was a conversation we was having. It's done with. Just like if you listen to me, if you crack that pie up, <laughs> hey, you off me a little slice of pie. 
It ain't nobody goddamn business if I ate that motherfucker or not. I could have just gave a couple of the oh, baby, that's a nice little pie. Let me set that pie over there. Shit, I keep some pie. You see what I'm saying? Good be for the good, but if you get, let me tell you something right now. If it wasn't shit and came to this motherfucker page and you got on, don't get the dead bitch. Don't get beside your motherfucking self. That, that's what the answer that what the woman, the other woman did. I'm quite sure. Or you got on, oh, oh, all of a sudden you just made it real plain and clear. Then you really just try to have an attitude. Look, fuck it. Go on about your business now. I ain't kissing your ass. You trying to put me in something. I went through with somebody a long time ago. I ain't like the way they fucking act. And, and and I didn't really and I didn't re, I didn't respect it I I didn't uh, appreciate none of it then and I ain't trying to hear that goddamn shit today and I put that bitch out of my house out of my house and there wasn't no whoop it wasn't no beat it wasn't no loud voice it was no argument it was me. On my hands and knees, please, baby, don't worry about it. But just watch, just watch the, the 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 coochie up. I don't care, just you know. Uh, oh, baby, please don't, you know. Then the rough nigga in me said, "Man, get your ass up off the motherfucking, uh, off your knees to this bitch, man. Put it up." He, matter of fact, shut up, man. It's like, all right, just over with. It. Take your ass and get out. And then she tried to tell me some, uh, she was going to call the police and put me out. I don't give a fuck. Call the police. They'll go to the phone right there. Send my name. You're allowed to use it. Call it. Call them. She called them. And I'm sitting up there. I ain't fucked up by nothing. I'm reading the book and everything, man. Sipping on some Diet Pepsi in a wine glass. You know, in a wine bill glass like this one. The police came in and first thing they did was, oh, you want to get up and get out of here and take a walk, pal? Look at this shit. Take a walk where? You want to take a walk out of here and go on down the street, get your shoes on and go on down the street? I said, hell no. Why would I want to uh, get out of my own house and walk down this damn street? I didn't call you anyway. Why are you here? <laughs> and so here we go. I said, oh, well, let's see. Since you don't believe me. This paperwork here says I don't have to go anywhere. You want to sit? Mm -hmm. Then, then the man he looked at and said, "Well, ma'am, uh, looks like uh, you're going. If you don't want to be here, you're gonna have to leave." Then she was trying to hint to somebody. He said, "Ma'am." I'm going to resolve the situation with a cop that showed up where looked me square in my eye and called, I'll help you, honey. You bastard. Call me a straight bastard. Bastard. <laughs> and I come, I can, uh, and I went back to reading, reading my book and sipping on, uh, with my feet up on my table. Yeah, this was back in uh, 1991, 1991, and around about April, May, June, July, something like that, because uh, it was a family reunion, <laughs> the Munions and uh, McCoys and all that, man, and it was up in Omaha, Nebraska and shit. You know, my cousins and them, I took them all over my house and let them see where I lived and everything. She didn't took her ass by now, you know what I mean? Yeah. Then, later on, I enlisted in the military, and that's when I went on 
to boot camp. And, you know, the ride lasted 1993. So, talk about. <laughs> what you talk about? Huh? What you talking about? Fucking with a real man right here. I ain't no goddamn boy. I'm a grown ass man. Shitting on somebody, bitch. That you take your ass, I guess that won't be. I, that that must be what all the fucking rook I'm gonna roll about you not take your goddamn ass. It's gonna be, you know, one that ain't gonna settle for you, your goddamn shit. I don't wanna hear that all oh, extra hustle. Some don't give a fuck about no goddamn hustle. But the ones that do, then they're gone. It ain't hard. Go on and post up to walk the goddamn uh, uh, track that the motherfucker put you on. That's what you fucking do. You, yeah, because I can't stand the motherfucking attitude and, and, and that mouth of fucking hoe, man. I'll be ready to slap the shit out of you. Bitch, get on. Don't don't talk to me. Don't talk to me. Don't watch your fucking work. I had to help your stinking. I had to help your motherfucker ass. I had to help you at all. You know what I mean? So don't never disrespect me. Watch you motherfucking mouth. The fuck you do. Well, y'all, I'm gonna get off, man. I just had to kick that rant off right quick. But I'll be back with a lot more fretting and a whole lot of uh, uh, less uh, uh, riffing and lipping. All right? I'll talk to y'all later.